Goldman Sachs London offices have sacked a senior employee after he admitted groping a female colleague. The impropriety occurred in October when one of Goldman's managing directors, who typically earn £500,000 a year, grasped the poor woman's bottom as she attempted to leave a city saloon. The overly tactile banker has been dismissed forthwith following an internal investigation. Re Goldman, it's hard to imagine the bank's suave, pounds 130 million European chief Richard not finding any common ground with Labour's John McDonnell, 66, when they made, as McDonnell promises, for tea and biscuits. Perhaps they'd be best off discussing cricket. Firebrand McDonald's patron of his local club in Hayes while not, 56, is mad about the game. His son Jamie played first class cricket for Oxford. Coming to North London's Park Theatre next month, Rothschild and Sons, the musical. Inspired by Frederick Morton's book, the rousing show follows the rise of Mayor Emschel Rothschild, who, from his family's humble home in a Frankfurt ghetto, went on to become the founding father of international finance. It's breathlessly described as an uplifting tale of a family willing to risk everything. Sounds like a hit bankers remain nervous about hosting Christmas parties which might be perceived as ostentatious. Most lenders prefer to hold low-key team dinners which are muted, sober affairs. The internet giants aren't so reticent. Google held a Winter Olympics theme party in East London a fortnight ago, while Twitter's bash was at Soho Hip Hop Club, The Toy Room. Small wonder tech firms are where all the talented eggheads are now heading. Businessman Richard Caring's Mayfair Haunt Harry's Bar recently took delivery of a vast, 25 ounces white truffle, which due to recent shortages, is worth as much as £3,000. I'm told the club's well-heeled members are happily shelling out £130 for just half a dozen slivers of the pongy delicacy. Perhaps truffles will come to rival Bitcoin as the next aft currency craze.